full tank of gas. Let's get it. All right, at the post office. All right, we dropped everything off. Let's head down to the shop and meet our contestants, Erlan and John, the ones that are gonna be helping me turn this thing into a beast. Guys, just made it to the shop. We got Jonathan over there, just um, chilling like a villain. Uh, is Erlan here yet? Not yet. Okay, so we're just gonna wait on Erlan. But uh, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. And today we finally got the mods to make this thing. Uh, it's it's it's, it's kind of weird because it's mods. But it's also maintenance at the same time. So we have basically this little plate that goes on the crank seal to prevent any belt fragments or belts actually going to the crank. So this is a very, very well-known issue. A lot of N54s end up sucking its belt once it rips and you pretty much lose the whole motor. So this is a great piece to have. I only found one person making this on eBay. I have it linked down below. Actually, like the best $80 you can ever spend on an N54 gives you this complete peace of mind. I'll show you guys that where, where it gets mounted and everything. Uh, we also have transmission mounts. These are very, these are pretty much aluminum transmission mounts. Makes the transmission very stiff, no play whatsoever, and then we also have diff fluids. These are the last couple things that we need to get this thing ready for some actual engine mods. Once we get all those things in, I think we might just need a power steering pump. We might need a power steering pump. We're about to find out today if we need a power steering pump or not. And then everything else is pretty much set. I think all the maintenance has either been done by either now it's gonna be by me, by Jonathan, or the previous owner. Like the valve cover's been done, right? Valve cover's been done. Oil filter housing gasket's been done as well. Oh, oh that's been done. It's been done. Okay, she perfect. Spent like 800 bucks on that. That's only the two leaks, and then yeah. I already did the oil pan. So most of the leaks are done. Done, perfect, that's sick. Actually, yeah, I wanna lift it up to see if there's anything leaking too. Yeah, oh, you did the transmission stuff too? I did the transmission, perfect. Uh, gasket, all that stuff. Okay. So literally every single gasket has been done now, except for like, uh, head cover gasket. Which I don't think, yeah. yo, I mean, yeah, that's when the engine's blown. But, um. It, that never happens really on these. Yeah, so that's actually perfect. So we have all that stuff done. You did the spark plugs and ignition coils, right? Correct. Okay, so. But they're not stage, they're not like a, a step holder, they're just, the regular. Performance, regular performance. Okay, so you might need to upgrade those down the road, but for now, we'll run into a misfire. Yeah. No, <laughs> Pretty... like the, the good Delphi, I think it's Delphi uh, ignition coils. Okay, so, so those are good. The metal ones, yeah. So we just need uh, upgraded spark plugs. These are cheap anyways. Yeah, They're like maybe 150 for an upgraded kit. Blow off valve and charge pipe are, I believe, aftermarket. I'm not really too sure. This, yeah? You, this is literally like the Amazon one. This okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get rid of those. I'll probably even do a giveaway on them because it runs just fine, but for major power, I feel like we're gonna have some issues. So I, may, I might as well upgrade both of those. Why is there a zip tie back there? Very interesting. Anywho. <laughs> yeah, you don't hear anything. It kinda, I need the sound, bro. We need the push, you know? <laughs> Let's just start taking apart everything that we need to install the crank hub seal. And uh, that will make sure we have a 100% peace of mind. The reason I really want to install this right now, my power steering pump, I think that's what's wrong. It's making this weird issue with the belt and the belt snapped off twice on Jonathan because of that. I'm thinking that's the weird sound. We're about to test it if it is the thing once Erlon gets here. He knows how to test it. So meantime, let's just install the new crank seal. And then as soon as Erlon gets here, we'll test and see what that sound is. And we think it's a power steering pump. If it's a power steering pump, I'm gonna be so happy. We'll order a new one. Um, but for the meantime, while I'm driving it with a bad power steering pump, I think bad power steering pump, at least I have the peace of mind if it snaps while I'm driving home, the belt didn't get chewed up in the engine. I lost the motor because that would suck. The motor's perfect, right? The motor's fine. We did everything we could to perfectly maintain it. It actually is really well maintained. It, we took it apart it looks really good so <sighs> enough talking nor you gotta get straight into it but before we get into it i need you guys to support your boy first link down below cop some more to support your man in this video the next video i'm gonna start shouting out everyone that purchases anything so if you guys want to check out the link down below purchase anything your name will be shot out in the next video without further ado let's get into it talk to me baby i've been waiting for a lifetime just keep on fading in all these photos caught in the memories and captured in It's the boy. That's the boy our line. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend, the actual mechanic. We just, we just want to be. Yeah, flex as well. <laughs> Take a look at this dude. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm becoming a pro pulling this out. One screw here, one screw down the transmission core, and this thing just comes right on out. Erlan just went ahead and removed the belt. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the car, and if we still hear that weird little clunking noise, that means there's something else. I really hope we don't hear it. Um, if we don't hear it, that means it has to be the stupid power steering pump, which I'll be so happy about. We'll go ahead and order a new one. Those are not cheap, like 300 bucks, but yeah. well, you know, it is what it is. I, I hope that's what it is instead of an, an engine issue, you know? How much money have you spent on this car? I spent out of my pocket so far. Maintenance. Maintenance, not registration, uh, about a grand. All right, guys, ready? Am I allowed yeah. to turn it on? Yeah. Turn it on. Turn it on. <laughs> Oh, 
They're healthy as can be. Boy. Healthy, it's healthy, right? That's what I'm talking about. Good. And it's, it, it, it sounds really good. I'm telling you, dude. I was you like, a little bit of a rep? Am I out here? Yeah. Oh, that's, dude, dude it's it's it sounds so good. good. I told you, it's solid. Carolina, there's literally no leak down there. Literally yeah, nothing. The oil to the valve cover, and now the oil can't off. Oh, the yeah, yeah, batteries are gonna get lights. Yeah. Dude, I told you it was solid. I told yeah. you. No, I mean, yeah, because well, he told me that you said that it made that noise, but. Bro, I swear it made I that noise always. That noise. He told me. He scammed I me. I remember, what? Okay, and then relax. I bought the car and then I got screwed. I told you everything before you bought the car. I don't know. You said Erlon verified it. Erlon well, I thought I thought that's what we heard. I thought it was like the lifters. That, that, that was. At first, it had a lifter tick. We first oh. bought it. It sat for so long. I thought that's what that was. No, okay. that, that's worse. But that's why when he, I heard it last time. I was like, oh, dude, that's. All right, oh, this is oh, actually okay. perfect. <laughs> actually perfect. Erlon actually said he'll donate me his power steering pumps. I appreciate sure. you, my guy. Title, take it. Hell yeah, no, I'm kidding. Anyway, <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and just remove the, what's it called, the crank seal or the, the crank, crank hub? Pull, the crank we're gonna hub. remove the crank hub and actually put the crank seal. It's so. a pulley, it's a pulley, right? Pulley, yeah. It's a okay. crank pulley. So, so what, is, what, is it, what is it held down? Oh yeah, for real, we don't wanna remove yeah, the seal. That's we, what no, we don't the, wanna the do. crank we wanna pulley. seal that thing even more. <laughs> so it's a couple bullets. So right? it's a like it's a e. Six. It's one of these. So yeah, that's how the screws look. It's about six of them. So we're about to go in there and just remove all six of those bolts, and the whole seal should just not the whole seal. I keep seeing the seal. We don't want the seal to come out. We want the, the hub to come out. Oh, jeez, Louise, bro, don't die. And then uh, we have this guy, which we're about to put on. I'm super excited for this for that peace of mind. I'm so happy it turned out to be the power steering pump. Let's get this right, done. This is, you're doing this. Uh, I'm gonna die today. Yeah. All right, hold up. <laughs> Who was that? Who's post? Who's the Devon that posted that one thing about the N54? Yeah. He's like, I want to get an N54. What should I look out for? And what did he say? Your mental health. <laughs> 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 so there's one. Who posted the other one? Was like, uh, uh, you should find a car guy that uh, that deals with N54s because then he can deal with any. He can. He's patient with any relationship or something. Honestly. Like no. <sighs> Woo! Bruh, get your hands in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hot, bro. His hands are dead. I think it's because like mechan I'm a mechanic, so my hands are just. His hands are just no sensitivity. Coated in brake fluid all day, every day. Guys, all right, so the crank, uh, I don't know what those bolts are even, to be honest with you, but those two bolts are held down by E12. Yeah, that's right. What happened when I, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I thought I stripped the bolt again? Yeah, when he was doing the power steering, he was just going. He went, bro, it got looser. I was like, what? <laughs> Should just sit on it. Oh, buddy. This no. is an $8 mod that every N54 owner needs to do. Uh, like, I'm honest. Title it that, dude. Dang, that looks really good on there. Now we have the adapter in there, so we're just gonna go ahead and just line this thing up. All right, guys, so um, now that that's all there, everything for the crank seal is back together, which I'm super stoked about. That's awesome. We're gonna go ahead and put the rest of the stuff back together. We're gonna go get something to eat because the boys are hungry. Starving. Starving. Yeah, let's just put in the intercooler and then head out. So uh, we just got everything put back together. The fans hooked up, transmission cooler is hooked back up, belts are on. We finally got the seal on there for that peace of mind. It definitely sounds like it was the power steering pump that was giving us an issue. I'm gonna go ahead and go to FCP or I'll place a new order on that. All right guys, we'll install the transmission mats in a little bit. Just get something to eat. Guys, I got some double doubles protein style. I wanted some burgers, but uh, I wanted to try to keep it healthy. Um, guys, those burgers are actually pretty good. Not didn't taste like In-N-Out to be honest, but very good. Um, but anyhow, let's go ahead and get the car back up with those transmission mounts to make this transmission as sturdy as possible. But yeah, shout out to Erlon. We finally got that little bracket in there. Let's go ahead and get those transmission mounts in. These are the transmission mounts. If you guys want to check out any of this stuff, link down below. Oh dear. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and remove those bolts. Guys, that looks sick. That's another mod in the books, and it's basically kind of a maintenance piece, so 
There's a difference, boys. Oh, those look good. <laughs> Bro, you should cop them. I, I do plan on swapping this out with a manual one of these days. Not really too sure when, but probably when I blow the trans. So the last thing this thing needs until like literally all the maintenance is done other than just replacing that power steering pump is just getting some new diff fluids in there. I don't know how long the diff fluids have been in there. I might as well just replace it with better diff fluids anyway since it's gonna be on the track and it's gonna be taking up more temperatures. We wanna make sure we have the right fluid. I ordered two bottles of 75W90 from FCP Euro. I don't know if you guys need that much, but I went ahead and ordered two anyway. I think you just need to go with one. So we'll do one and worst comes to worst, I'll have an extra bottle for the future, who cares? bit of a mess on the ground but we got the new diff fluids in I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten that up I just put the screw on there but it, that was actually really easy so I'm so fortunate I had to switch you guys right there we had no extra hands to actually show you guys the recording but pretty much you just take this out pump out the fluids put and then put in new fluids and that's it and then tighten up the screw it's really easy you can took off this whole plate to make sure all the fluids come out but I'm pretty sure it pumped out at least like 95% of it plus the fluids were good there's no such thing wrong with the fluids we just want thicker fluids. So 95 of the fluids that are in there right now are thicker fluids, which is more than good enough. Let me just go ahead and clean up this area now and uh, should be ready to go to drop the car with the new mounts. New diff fluids, new uh, transmission mounts, and also the new basically adapter slash protective plate slash thingy for the crank. So we should be good to go. I'm pretty sure we're done on maintenance. So hopefully the next video you guys see on this car, we'll be ready to put some mods into this. I ordered the full kit from Burger Tuning. So that's gonna be a ton of power. This little thing is actually already super quick stocks. So I can only imagine how much it is with adding an extra 200 horsepower, 300 horsepower from the get-go. We're only gonna try to get this thing as much as possible. I've been, take, I've been talking to other YouTubers like Jake Spence that, that, that have pushed this car to insane power gains. Um, so I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and take it out for a spin. I think after a lot of work, we should definitely drive it. I really hope that the ride's not gonna be super stiff because now the, technically the transmission is built straight to the chassis. So let's see how it is. All right, first startup. I felt the transmission. I can literally, I felt the transmission shaking too. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> we're, about, we're about to take it out for a spin. I mean, so far at idle, it's not bad. I just felt it when the transmission was really cranking over. Yeah, there's a lot of vibration in the steering wheel. This is, I guess, meant for like track use. Um, huge issue just came up. I literally feel the transmission slamming against the car. So we're gonna have to take this thing back and remove those super stiff transmission mats. Those do not feel good. Oh my God, the car drives like absolute dog shit. <laughs> Literally when I floored it, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh my God, they're terrible. It, it's a cool thing to have a track car, but don't, don't sacrifice ride quality. Like the car literally was vibrating like no other. Like when I floored it, Oh, hell no, nah. not happening. Let's head back to the shop and get these transmission mounts off the car. I am, I am not liking them. <laughs> the, literally the transmission is like, uh, <laughs> it's like, uh, <laughs> <No way. laughs> you want to get in the car? All right, guys, I forgot the camera in the car when we had the car up, so I'm sorry I didn't show you guys. But, guys, pretty much the same way to put it on. Very easy to take off and on. Literally took us 20 minutes. We have these ones back off again. Let's go ahead and stop the car. Hope to God that vibration's gone. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's these guys, but it could be... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the transmission mouse. Let's go ahead and take it out for a test drive. Hope to God it's good. It was stupid... Stupid transmission mouse. They were garbage. <laughs> but I was like... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, you almost felt like no power. Yeah. No, it was terrible. It felt like something wrong was, was something was wrong with the motor. It was, oh man, thank God that's out. Oh, this is so much better, God bless. And when did you say the single turbo comes? I mean, oh. <laughs> Well, coming soon, guys. We're working, I'm working. We're first trying to work on it, trying to get this thing to five to 600 horsepower. And then after that, uh, I want to take this down to the track, enjoy it with that kind of power, and then go single turbo. Hopefully, is the end goal with this car. Really depends where the channel takes us, guys. So, if you guys really enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to smash the like button because a single turbo clip is uh, it's actually very expensive. I think it's roughly like it's like five to six thousand dollars just for the kit without the tune or anything. So, smash that like button if you guys want me to look into that. Without further ado, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and check out with the boys, help out Jonathan with his video. But I love you guys so much. Cop some merch down below if you guys want to support your man. And again, smash that like button if you guys enjoyed. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.